Hey guys, this is Back In. This is Lousy. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, we've been drinking MMA. We're breaking down UFC 289, Nunez Aldana. This is the second fight on the main card. It's uh, Dan Ige. It's a featherweight fight with Dan Ige versus Nate Landwehr. And uh, I'm going with Nate Landwehr. And uh, I'm going inside the distance. Somebody's going to get knocked out in this one, in my opinion. Uh, and I'm leaning towards Ige in this one. He's a ranked fighter. Uh, Landwehr is not ranked. It's a good. It's a. It's a solid pick. Ige, ranked number thirteen. Um, and uh, Ige came off a uh, TKO win in his last fight versus Damon Jackson, and uh, in the second. And funny enough, uh, Nate Landwehr, um, his opponent, uh, just uh, TKO submitted. Actually submitted with a, a rear naked choke against Austin Lingo in his last fight in the second round. I think second round. This could be. Uh, it's could be a finish. I think it's a smart pick for the finish. Um, you know, Danny Gay is minus two sixty, two hundred sixty dollars to make a hundred dollars. Landwehr getting huge money, plus two hundred dollars, hundred dollars to make two hundred dollars. I love the the money on it. So um, they're both I coming true, off. Of I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Sorry, they're both uh, coming off a second round finish. This is amazing. It's gonna be a great yeah, fight. second round. Somebody's getting finished. Just yeah, look at their. Yeah, tonight, right? this is going to be. This, this has got to be the fight. Tonight. They both. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be a barn burner type fight. I don't think it's going to be. Gr- Take him down, grind him out type fight. I think it's going to be a, I'm going to not try to knock you out or choke you out type fight. And not to, uh, not to, um, you know, what do you call it? Uh, insult or disrespect any of the fighters on the card. Um, I just feel like Landwehr Ige may be the most hard on this card. It just feels like if they get hit, they're going to keep coming forward. Yeah, and, and the chins on these people. And the, I think Landwehr is straight up crazy. He might be out of his Certified. mind, like certified, <laughs> certifiable, certifiably <laughs> insane. But like, yeah, the way he goes forward, the way he throws with attention, yeah. it makes me. The way I'm talking about Landwehr is like I'm tr- I'm voting for him. He's I'm guy. going with the other guy, but I think Landwehr is a great fighter. So this is an interesting thing. Uh, Landwehr is one inch reach advantage, but he's got a two inch height advantage. The other thing though is it's not just a two inch height advantage. Like you can see when Landwehr stands there, Landwehr's legs are very long. For the weight class of featherweight it reminds me of mcgregor when mcgregor had that leg reach and you could just front kick to the stomach fr- a side kick oblique kick to the to the to the leg to the thigh great distance control he mixes up the 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 kicks from a from a side kick to the leg to a to a solid just you know strong leg kick aggressive leg kick to a you know front kick he can do he can mix up the pace the speeds i mean and um hits you from different angles with it and 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 that's just his legs to start you know what i mean so this is going to be a fun fight with Ige probably com- coming forward maybe a little bit more. Landwehr does like to stand. The balance the standard attack. Ige doesn't give up going forward. Yeah. Like he, that's what he does. He's like, pressure. You know, some people you say, oh yeah, that person likes to go forward, but Ige was born to go forward. Yeah. I don't know what happened in his upbringing, but whatever it is, he is born. He to has go a good forward. chin. He if you if you have time, watch that Josh Emmett fight against Ige. Uh, I'm gonna. Re- I'm definitely gonna watch that one. That. Um, yeah. Two people that can throw. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna. Be- but in this fight, Landwehr with his uh, le- uh, he throws with attention. It's just gonna be a good fight. So, in my opinion, I think Danny Gay is gonna probably go forward a little bit more than Landwehr. We saw Landwehr likes to go forward and go in the pocket, but Lingo went forward and Landwehr had to counterpunch a lot of the fight. Uh, so I just think Ige likes to go forward like Lingo did Landwehr's last opponent. So Ige is gonna be going forward. Ige is gonna be putting the pressure. Ige's got the. Um, uh, well, actually, you know what's crazy is that Ige throws 3.8 significant strikes per minute and Landwehr throws 6.4 significant strikes per minute. And that has to do with, I think, Ige is more of a puncher. Ige doesn't really throw leg kicks, kicks to the leg, but Ige has really good head kicks, and he has, he has good body kicks too. But Landwehr has a pretty – it's close to – a head kick is almost as good as Ige's, but then Landwehr also has like – Different types of kicks to the body, from the front kick to any kick to the body to, right. you know, again, those front kicks to the leg. You know, just, just mixes up the paces. His jab that sets up a head kick. Messes up your rhythm. The other thing, though, so so basically what I'm saying is that is that I feel like Landwehr is going to get more strikes in because he's going to have a variety of kicks. Not just one type of kick. Three, four, five different types of angles of kicks. With intention. With intention. They can damage. They can just, you know, break your concentration. There's different reasons for why he throws it. Um, sometimes he just does it for him to get rhythm. Sometimes it's just there to throw off, your, you know, mix it up against his opponent. It's just hard to read Landwehr, what he's going to throw. Landwehr also takes what you give him. Ige, again, we li- he likes to go forward. Ige throws the jab. Ige's got a really good jab. Landwehr also has, a, I would say, a 
almost maybe as good a jab, or maybe it's cl- it, it, it's close. I don't know who has it, but Landwehr is more active with it. That's why I like Landwehr, again, with the strike count, with the jab. So um, I see the jab landing and, and just at least throwing Ige off. I see the kicks landing a lot more for Landwehr. I think Ige going forward is, is a problem for anyone, and he's got great balance, Ige, when he goes forward. So no matter if you can even touch him a little bit, he's not going to stop, and it's tough to, to beat a guy like that. But uh, I just feel like Landwehr is slick with the head movement to the point where Ige sometimes, um, if you ever can make Ige go backward or sometimes, you know, just switch it up a little bit against Ige and take offense on him, I, I think Ige's defense is pretty good. But Landwehr, I'm telling you, this guy's head movement, you know, he looks like he used to be a boxer, kind of like McGregor where, you know, he's got slick head movement, you know, gets the, gets the, the elbow high on his, uh, on his, on his uh, head, and if you punch him, he knows how to roll with the punches, a lot like uh, the great boxer Roberto Duran. So I, 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 I see that in him, that his boxing is actually, his defense is actually phenomenal, very slick, um, and his timing, when, you, when, you, when you're just there to be hit a little bit, he just lands awkward angled short punches, very awkward, and he just does it almost like, like a crazy person would, like McGregor. You're like, how is this guy doing it? Right. It's because he's crazy. And crazy people, they don't mind being in really uncomfortable situations because they're crazy. Yeah. And uh, I just think Landwehr has the edge in crazy. And I think the craziness of his uh, different punches that he lands, the countering, it's going to be a very fun fight of the night for us. Yes. He, Landwehr's there for a reason. Ige's yeah. there to try to get him out of there. I think it's going to be inside the distance. Inside the distance. I, I think that's uh, prob- it's probably going to be a lock for me. These guys do not quit putting the pressure and going for the finish, man. They are looking for the finish. Look at look at how they finish their last opponents. It's amazing. They 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 have killer instincts and, and, and they just do. It's it's gonna be fight of the night and we're super excited about this one. Um thanks for tuning in for this one, guys. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Thanks everybody.